The recent policy change is drawing criticism from both members and supporters of the LGBTQ plus community, saying this policy change aims to make the raising of the pride flag during Pride Month a thing of the past. Members and supporters of the LGBTQ plus community rallied outside of Enfield Town Hall prior to a town council meeting Monday night. It's a shame that this resolution is stemming from the pride flag hanging on town hall. Earlier this month, the town council passed a resolution saying only the American flag, the Connecticut state flag, and the MIA POW flag and flags representing the U.S. military branches can be flown or displayed on town buildings and property. We feel like this is an attack on the LGBT community. We're the only ones that have flown a flag here on Town Hall. Newly elected Mayor Ken Nelson responding to the criticism of the policy. Well, the way they see it as targeting, I see it as it's a discriminatory policy allowing one group and no other. How can you say that's not discrimination? And, you know, Enfield is all-inclusive 100 percent. Lieutenant Governor Susan Bicewitz was in attendance at Monday's rally, emphasizing why these symbols matter. Those symbols are important because it says to people that you are uh, welcomed and accepted. After the rally, dozens of demonstrators attended the town council meeting to have their voices heard. The town has had zero protests or negative incidents at the ri rising of the pride flag over the previous two years. While others agreed with the new policy. The pride groups are asking for special privilege while they're also asking for equality. These two things go against each other. Protesters hope they can work with officials so they can continue to show their pride at town hall. And hopefully that we could come to some kind of terms or agreement where the flag can be displayed somehow. LGBTQ plus advocates say they will continue to push back on the policy and continue their work to make this a more inclusive and welcoming community. In Enfield, Jake Garcia, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.